uh, do you have any future plans to uh, to work with Pat Anderson in the future on um, other films or anything? Um, well, you know, who who knows what the future brings? Um, right now, I just I'm gonna make a few films and see where life takes me. But uh, yeah, I think. Uh, you know, I think we've made pretty much every film I wanted to make with Pastor Anderson. I have a lot of things that interest me, and yeah. I have a lot of different directions I want to go. There's, there's, I could list you ten films I want to make a really bad right now, and I don't think Pastor Anderson would be into any of those. And so, <laughs> um, you know, I, yeah, I have to do stuff that that I'm passionate about because you know when you when you when you work for a year on a film, it it really takes a lot out of you. I mean, a lot of these gray hairs grow, so you have to be um, you have to be excited about it. And so that's kind of where I'm at now with that. Right. Well, I you know just wanted to say that uh, you know, the whole uh, IFB movement has been a huge blessing for me, um, even though I don't have one near me, but. Um, really inspired by all the films that you're doing personally and um yeah just uh wanted to, to say that and then uh, i'll definitely be offering a little bit of donation for you <laughs> hey i appreciate it man thank you so much for your call yeah thanks a lot hey god bless anything you wanted to say pastor yeah i think you know people need to remember that when it comes to these documentaries is you know uh Paul Wittenberger is the documentary guy. He's just usually the guy that's behind the camera and instead of in, in front of the camera. And, you know, those documentaries that you did uh, with Pastor Anderson, obviously they were, they were great and they were fantastic. But, you know, sometimes people, you know, ha have, you know, differences on certain things. And, uh, you know, you can't always just work with one man and it's not really about, one person and this documentary too it's not um you know it's definitely not about me it's definitely not about you know any one person it's about a subject and you can cover certain subjects without including certain individuals you know and um you know people are always asking about that you know are you guys ever going to get back together and well you know the truth is in the ifb world it's not about all the IFB holding hands and singing Kumbaya. It's about individual churches, you know, going forward for Christ and uh, people can go forward and do things for God without necessarily working directly with each other. And so, um, you know, I don't know why those questions seem to come up all the time, but it's, you know, I get it. But at the same time, too, you know, you got to let people just kind of move on and do their thing. Right. You know, I, I find it kind of comical because, you know, I, when I went to make uh COVID land, you know, I made those three films over a year and a half and it was like, you're, he's changed. He's not doing Christian films anymore. It's like, I just took a break making something different. It's like, you know, I have other interests and, you know, I'm going to be doing uh, Christian films. I'm going to be doing uh, archaeology films. I, I, I have really interested in Sodom and Gomorrah in the, where the location of that was. And so, you know, I want to make a film on that someday. I also want to make a film on all this woke culture. That's probably going to be the next film I make is this whole woke how – you know, America has gone woke and really the world has gone woke and, and, and talk about that a little bit in the mm -hmm. cancel culture and all that stuff. So um, well, sometimes there's subjects that, you, you know, you have in common with somebody and then there's other subjects you just don't have in common with people. You know, when it comes to, uh, you know, you know, if you did a documentary about fluoride again or something like that, you did a part two. Um, I don't think, I would want to be a part of it and I don't think you would want me to be a part of it. I wouldn't really have anything to contribute to it. It's not really a subject I'm interested in, but you know, at the same time too, I definitely wouldn't take it personal if uh, I wasn't a part of it. So yeah, sometimes it's, you know, it is, it's those, it, and just because you have a common interest with somebody doesn't mean you are in lockstep 
in every single thing. 